Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to score highly in section one. I'm first going to go through how they score you. Secondly, I'm going to show you a framework to approach section one. And then thirdly, I'm going to show you exactly how I utilize that framework. If you're new here, hi, my name is Michael. I'm a first year med student from the University of Notre Dame here in Sydney, Australia. Welcome to my channel, The Journey of Medicine. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Okay, so let's go through how ASA scores you in section one of the GAMSAT. I pulled an excerpt from their booklet and I urge you to read it because it shows you um, what kind of questions that they're gonna put in. And I think there are two things here that are significant, which I've highlighted. The first is in green. Different kinds of text that use as stimuli, including passages of personal, imaginative, expository, and argumentative writing. What they're testing here is, are you familiar with a wide vari a variety of texts? Okay. The second thing that is significant is what's highlighted here in yellow. And this is exactly what, this is what they're testing out of those texts. And what they are, are simply your higher cognitive skills. Now, I put a picture here um, down below of Bloom's Taxonomy. And what Bloom's Taxonomy is, it's a hierarchical classification used by teachers and educators to design assessments that are appropriate, um, that, that test, sorry, certain um, or sorry, different cognitive skills. And it's ordered in, um, in terms of difficulty so that skills such as remembering and understanding are easier than higher skills such as applying, analyzing, and evaluating. And why I put this or why this is relevant is because you need to be training your higher cognitive skills, i.e. you need to be training how you apply information how you analyze ideas and how you evaluate um, different stances and you've got to do this using different texts okay so let's look at a framework of approaching section one we've established that you get scored on how good are your higher order cognitive skills when it comes to different texts that is all you get tested on and like an athlete getting stronger in the gym you can train and improve in this area how by reading different texts and thinking about the texts that you have read. In this way, I believe that this is the correct way to improve your section one score. And it all then just comes down to how many reps of this um, you have done. Now let's look at how I utilized the framework for section one. And it was divided into two, my reading plan and how I thought about those books. I read for one hour each day. This is broken up into four lots of 15 minutes. So 15 minutes of poetry, about 30 minutes of non-fiction, and another 15 minutes of fiction. This was good because it took me about 15 minutes to go through one chapter um, of a book, give or take. These are some of the books on the right here that I read and I really enjoyed. If you want some book recommendations, follow me on Goodreads. Um, I'll leave a link down below. The second part, of course, of this framework is you've got to think about these books. And the reason is because you want to train those higher order cognitive skills as per Bloom's taxonomy. And I did this through three ways. First, through daydreaming. Whenever I was bored or driving or had to do some random chore, I would try and think about some of these ideas from books. Secondly, I would write. If I felt passionate about a certain idea, um, I would journal about it in a reflection, in sort of a reflective piece. Um, and I would also try and write about these ideas in my section two practice. And the third way, or and I think the most interesting way, is just through conversation. Um, of course, I wouldn't just reference books midway through a conversation because that would be a little bit weird, but I would try and at least appreciate if these ideas came up in conversation and try and express um, the ideas that I had come across in these books. And in this way, um, and in this way, I think these are some just some ways you can train those sort of higher order cognitive skills. Because remember, not only do you have to read, but you also have to think about those books. Okay, so today's take home message is to improve your section one score, you need to firstly read a variety of texts and secondly, think about those texts. Okay, hopefully um, this information was useful and I wish you luck in your studies.